Hi, this is Ron Thurston from the Retail in America Tour, and I'm here at Retail ROI with Shelly Branston from Microsoft. Good morning, Shelly. Hey, Ron. Good nice to be with you. You too. So you and I are doing a panel together. Yeah. I'm actually asking you questions, <laughs> um, really about responsibility, fiscal responsibility in a recession hosted by Avanade. And so as you think about that from a Microsoft point of view, and you think about how you can continue to deliver exceptional customer experiences while being fiscally responsible, what does that look like for you? Yeah. Well, first off, it's great to be with you, and what a great event to kick off NRF Retail ROI. I don't think that responsibility or profitability are actually new ideas in retail. I mean, retail has always been very focused on ROI. What is shifting from what I'm seeing with customers is sort of the time horizon with which the ROI needs to be proven. Many, many, you know, retailers are sort of saying things that could, you know, a two-year project need to show the value within six months. But the fundamentals in terms of delivering a great experience, empowering the front line, building resiliency into the supply chain. Those are the foundation exactly. of, of great retail, and they're right in line with profitability. So we, we're thinking about it as resilient retail, and it's, it's here to stay. Yeah. I don't know, what's your take on it? I mean I couldn't agree more. I think, you know, and I often speak about in, through Retail Pride and through the tour, what I've learned is great retail is great retail regardless yeah. of price point. So you think about this as, you know, giant brands like the Dollar Generals and Walmarts, you know, they have a very fiscally responsible, they have fiscally responsible customer often. Yeah. Yet there's a wider variety of customers joining like their customer base. Yeah. And so I think this idea of every brand at every price point, great retail is great retail, and they have to think about this regardless of what's happening economically. And I think it actually challenges people to do better, but it doesn't mean that we're going to do things in a completely new way. We're just thinking about it differently. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So Shelly, something that's really on my mind mm -hmm. is this idea of how do retail leaders continue to be that mindset of also being fiscally responsible because their workload is bigger than ever. They've had, they have more things to do. They have more tasks to accomplish potentially. So what's your point of view through Microsoft? Yeah, um, well, you know, leadership and leadership principles um, have always been sort of core to how at the DNA of Microsoft, um, and we think about, you know, clarity, focus, and results. And um, underneath all that is sort of this idea of be having a growth mindset, um, which for me is really appealing because it, it, it talks about sort of being a learn-it-all versus a know-it-all. And I think that's so important, um, not just in a tech company, but of course in the retail context, and you talk, well, you talk a little bit because you talk about focus and curiosity. Maybe you could talk about that. And there's a third. <laughs> I'd love to, yeah, and, and, empathy. and empathy. So, you know, when I think about growth mindset, the idea of empathy yeah. is so true. Yeah. Because if I really think, how are the people around me experiencing the world, experiencing business, experiencing my brand, I have to be even more empathetic and think even more with a growth mindset. Like, how does that evolve? And so I think your pillars around you know, delivering results you know, align very closely to Retail Pride. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely. Thank you. So, Shelly, I've been on tour around the country for a year interviewing retailers and leaders and founders and managers and I have my own kind of ideas about trends for 2023, but I'd love to hear your point of view. Sure. Well, I mean, I think the good news is that the trends have not changed dramatically. There's a lot of buzz in the industry right now and broadly about chat GPT. Um, and certainly coming right before chat GPT, people were talking a lot about the metaverse. Um, and the different components of the metaverse. But I think the, the, if you actually peel back some of the things that are 
at this point still, people are still getting their heads around. Um, the focus goes back to the, the fundamentals around, you know, personalization around the customer experience, productivity and collabor collaboration tools for the store associate, building AI capabilities into the supply chain for demand planning. And so I think those are real trends and top of mind for everyone is sustainability. Yeah. You know, uh, our most precious resource is our planet, and um, we know that customers care a lot about it. And so, uh, certainly, a, a ripe conversation with many of the customers I talk to. How about you? What are you seeing? Thank you. You know, it's interesting you bring that up because, you know, my perception of of sustainability now, as someone who lives outdoors, yeah. is very different. And I do think, you know, when you're in national parks and you really think about our responsibility to protect the earth, as spending my entire career in fashion retail, it really hits you. It really, like, what, what impact have I done as a leader, as a consumer, to change that? What's my impact on the earth? And it really feels different when, you're, when you live um, um, among the plants or the beach or wherever I happen to be. Um, but... You know, trends, I agree with you. We have to continue to provide resources and tools and education and career advancement and all the things that are important to people in stores. That can't stop um, because the pressures of delivering the results certainly don't diminish, but we need great people in retail every day. You said it this morning, you know, this is a people business and that has never been more true. Right. Even with metaverse, even with you know everything happening, will always be a people business. I couldn't agree more. Those yeah. uh, the tools and the cap the tools and capabilities from companies like ours, the thought leadership from people like you, is in service to the people of retail who who, who look customers in the whites of their eyes every single day. Every day. Every day. Thank you, Shelley, for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. This is Ron Thurston from the Retail in America Tour, and I will see you on the road.